What's going on guys? I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Attic. I recently had the pleasure of visiting a super well done video game store while in North Carolina. I've talked about this in the past, but when I'm traveling I like to scope out local retro game stores, which I usually do before I arrive at the spot. But in this case, I was a slacker and googled local retro game stores after I arrived in North Carolina while being a typical millennial loitering in a Starbucks. There wasn't a whole lot going on in the area, but there was one store in particular that I found interesting. Limited Run Retail. The first thing that went through my head was, wow, like these guys are pretty brazen with their copyright infringement. I mean, their logo and aesthetic are pretty much the same as Limited Run games. I'm surprised that Limited Run didn't go after them or whatever. But eventually my dumbass figured it out when I actually checked out photos on Google Maps and realized, wow, Limited Run Games has a retail location. That's pretty awesome. Listen, I'm really behind the times here because apparently this place opened up in 2022. Now I'm no Limited Run fanboy or anything, but I do have a handful of their releases on the Nintendo Switch. They were all super well done, with awesome attention to detail in the packaging and manuals, which I'm a sucker for, and just the overall physical gaming experience, so I was pretty stoked to check out the place. I also dragged my wife and my parents here, so big shout out to them for joining me. I should also put it out there that I filmed mostly in vertical, because I know not everyone is cool with filming, and this is a little more covert, so I'm basically a tactical espionage master now. Limited Run Retail is tucked away in the back portion of a two-story shopping center in Cary, North Carolina. The shopping center itself was well kept with plenty of upscale looking shops and eateries. The aesthetic of the center seemed pretty modern too. After I ascended the outdoor stairs, my eyes were immediately drawn to the pink and purple coloring on the exterior of the Limited Run Retail Store. The glare here is rough, but there's actually a really cool window display out front with four matching Sony Trinitron CRT TVs, which I'm a sucker for, and it was impressive that they were all matching sizes and models. It probably wasn't super easy to track them all down. The TVs were atop a period correct looking entertainment center loaded with a VCR, a Model 1 Genesis, and an NES. The attention to detail here was super impressive, and I immediately knew that this was going to be a super well done store. It was like a 90s fever dream as soon as I walked in. The colors, the neon lights, that funky rug pattern, the low shelves throughout the middle of the store, packed with awesome retro and retro inspired items. It felt like a mix between an 80s and 90s arcade, an old school movie theater, and a 90s corporate video rental store like a Blockbuster or a Hollywood Video. They really captured the feel and aesthetic that I haven't felt in person in many years and that was a great feeling to experience. This place oozes charm and it felt really authentic. As you walk in, immediately to the right there is random limited run merch like posters, skateboard decks hanging on the walls, gaming soundtracks, plushes, t-shirts, and these cool limited run branded Hyperkin NES style controllers. There were also plenty of Sega Astro City minis and I was considering picking one up because they look awesome, but I know I'd probably play it once and it would forever live on my shelf collection dust, so I decided against it. Look at me making adult decisions. I came here around 1 p.m. on a Friday, and the store already had like 10 people shopping in there. There was also a surprisingly large amount of retro games in stock. I was expecting the store to focus mostly on limited run games and items, so that was a nice surprise. The prices for the retro games were fair and competitive as well. Here you can see plenty of PS2, PS3, and PS4 games along this shelving. The games looked super clean, they were individually bagged, and the shelving was organized, which very much satisfied my OCD. I didn't go through the PlayStation stuff too much, but it was nice to see it here. Along the back wall is a sign denoting the pre-owned zone, which seriously gave me some old school video rental store vibes. The more higher priced games were back here inside of glass casing. There were plenty of random PS4, Xbox One, and PSP games, but I mainly focused on the NES, the SNES, and Genesis stuff, as one does. I own all the NES games that were in stock here, but they were all priced super fairly in my opinion. I didn't get a shot of it, but there is a really cool forever physical neon sign along the back wall that seems like the centerpiece of the store and is definitely the point driven home. Physical reigns supreme here. There's also a lot of these larger limited run physical releases with I guess extra items included aside from just the game. I didn't realize just how many limited run releases there were and the extent that they go through to preserve and enhance the physical item experience. I was seriously blown away with the attention to detail they put in here with the packaging and overall presentation. These mainly appeal to a certain sub 
subset of collectors and weirdos like me, and I loved every minute of being in there. Cardboard stand-up displays were all the rage in the 90s, and here we see two cool stand-ups of the characters from Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol nestled here in the corner of the store. I was pretty taken back that my mom recognized them and was pumped to see something that even she was familiar with. My friend and I would play Zombies Ate My Neighbors for hours upon hours when it came out, and she remembered how obsessed we were with it like 30 years ago. I couldn't leave here without getting at least one game though, and it was kind of overwhelming because I rarely just buy a game without knowing nothing about it. Although I probably should have gotten into the 90s spirit and done just that because that is how we did it back in the day. Regardless though, I did play it safe and chose the original Shantae on Nintendo Switch. They were pushing the series pretty hard and even had a cool cardboard stand-up of her on display there. I have a very limited knowledge of the game and the series itself, but I know that the first entry is regarded as a good game and for 30 bucks you can't go wrong and I'm excited to try it. As an Apple fan, I had to throw it in here too that I was pumped to see this old school Apple Studio CRT in service at the register as shown in Google Images, but alas, it was absent upon my visit. Not super surprising since these things are beast and take up a ton of real estate. And that was my experience with the limited run retail store. I don't want to put this lightly, this was probably the best physical game shopping experience I have ever had, at least in my adult life. I'm not endorsed by limited run or anything like that, I'm nowhere big enough on YouTube to be anyway. This place was a physical embodiment of a lot of things that I loved as a kid, and I highly suggest that you check it out if you're ever in the Cary, North Carolina area. As a solely retro game store, there are better ones out there, but this isn't what limited run retail is going for. Their games and items come first, and I see retro games as a welcome bonus that fits in perfectly with their philosophy. I know it sounds lame to say, but I literally got goosebumps inside of limited run retail because it felt like I was transported to a time from long ago. In the early to mid 90s, I was a young child and my parents took me to places similar to this, like a Funko Land or a KB Toys. But now, in 2023, I am no longer that nine year old running around and losing my mind over the Sega CD. I'm a middle aged man with a family of my own, and I was lucky enough to have my parents accompany me to this special place. Even though they weren't as stoked as I was, their presence here really did make me feel like it was the 1990s again, if only for a brief time. So what do you guys think? Have you been to Limited Run Retail? Is it on your list of places to check out? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for checking out Retro Game Attic. I seriously appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.